Let me tell you something. This is the sort of candlestick you want to bring to a candlestick fight. If Miss Scarlet showed up to the library with this, Colonel Mustard wouldn't stand a chance. I didn't appreciate this lamp when it still worked. I had rooms full of bright, blinding overhead lighting. What use did I have for such an archaic old table lamp? Sure, its ability to double as a candelabra came in handy a few times when the power went out, but a flashlight still works better. I've only kept it around all these years because it was my mom's and my grandma's before her, and I just think it looks cool. But I'm an old man now, and I hate bright lights. I just want to be able to lay here in my recliner and read a book without a half dozen oppressively bright can lights shining down on me from above. So after many years of being stored away since it stopped working sometime last decade, it's time to resurrect this century-old lamp. So here we go. Richard, in the shop, with the candlestick. Where do you even begin? Well, we got three different projects that we got to do here. We got to recover the lampshade. That's going to be interesting. I've never recovered a lampshade before. I've never even seen a lampshade covered before. I must have missed that episode of how it's made. We got to rewire the lamp, which should be a breeze because that's actually well within my wheelhouse. And then, probably the hardest part of this whole thing is deciding whether I want to keep the lamp looking like this or if I want to polish it up and make this brass shine. But first things first, we got to recover this lampshade. That's what's left of the inner lining. And this is all just glued. And it's glued well too, it's not just flaking off or anything. That is amazing. What did they use? I can't believe this is just glued. I cannot believe it's just glued. Success. I feel like when I'm done with this, I might be able to make a top hat. Let's see here. We've got one, two, two seams. Ah, 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 ah. Cool, just two seams. Do I want two seams? Or do I just want one seam? I wonder if this had two seams because it was necessary or two seams because the material was just too small to, to do one seam. I'll have to consult the expert on that. Does this have two seams for aesthetic purposes, for functional purposes, or for economic purposes? Probably economic purposes. Because they couldn't, the piece wasn't big enough? Probably wasn't a long enough piece, or it wasn't the right direction. You could probably cut that out of one piece of material if you have enough. That's what I thought. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. I could probably make two lampshades with this piece. Now it's time for the fun part, putting it all together. Come on. Well, while he does that, I'm going to start working on the base. That'd be a pretty cool hiding spot for some cash. Roll it up and stick it in there. Of course, not now that I've told you, but it would have been. Boom. 
Hey, can I steal this? You don't need it, do you? Oh, yeah, take it. I don't need it. You're probably going to have to clean the glue residue off before you put any fabric on there, though. Oh, yeah. Hey, check this point. out. Polishing my shaft. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's pretty good. Compared to what it was, I think I'm gonna like this thing all shiny. I think this is just copper. It might have had a brass coating on it or something. Well, shit. Maybe not. Oh, no. Oh, that looks great. See, that's gonna be a trick there. Huh. I'm not so sure about this. I might need to try something else. Oh, I wonder if it picked up on the camera earlier. A guy rode by on a bike with a Bluetooth speaker playing Axel F, and now it's stuck in my head. tight bond quick and thick multi-surface glue because it says that it can glue uh, different surfaces to different surfaces so in this case fabric to metal Ooh, look at that it's tacky right away smokes. It looks like a lampshade. Damn it. Should have lined the seam up with this metal piece. Is it too much? Am I asking for trouble? Oh, fuck. Yeah, no. No. No, 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 no. Such a shitty scene too. Oh well, it's gonna face the wall anyway. <laughs> hey, it's my first lampshade. Cut me a little slack, all right? Now you see, this is the old wiring that it came with. You know, the strands of wires are wrapped in fabric and then those fabric wrapped strands are wrapped in fabric again. I think I'm gonna reuse the the old switch though. It's got that cloth covered wire too, but I think it'll probably be okay as a switch. The whole reason this lamp was out of commission for as long as it was and 
why I wasn't using it. it this lamp was in, the, in our living room. My son and I were in the living room watching TV one day. I was sitting on one end of the couch and he was laying on the other end of the couch with this lamp just a couple feet from his head. And out of the corner of my eye, I see this giant arc and hear a pop. And I look over and I said, what was that? I said, what did you do? And he said, I didn't do anything. I'm like, what do you mean you didn't do anything? What happened? He's like, I don't know. I'm like, what do you mean you don't know? What the hell just happened over there? And he didn't have any idea and we went over and I, I looked at the lamp and the cord, you know, that came out of the, the hole right here, it had just arced. It had shorted out. Poof. And uh, so that answered a question that I had always had. You know, in all my years of carpet cleaning, I would go to customers' houses, customers of a certain age, and I'd move their couches and furniture and stuff, and I would see all their lamps and all their appliances unplugged. And I always thought it was, you know, some depression era thing, trying to save money, you know, appliances, drawing power or something like that when they're not in use. But now, now I fully understand that uh, houses probably used to burn down quite frequently when they had this type of uh, cord that would just short out randomly. So that was a good lesson learned. I don't love it, the inside anyway. I'm guessing there's a trick to that that uh, I haven't unlocked yet. This switch was my favorite part about this lamp when I was a kid growing up because it's down here on the base. The lights themselves, the sockets have switches in them, but this switch right here was really cool because this lamp sat on my mom's nightstand right next to her bed. When it was sitting there, you could only see this switch if you were laying in bed. So you could just reach up, you know, you didn't have to reach all the way up to pull the cord. You could just reach up and push the button to turn the light on. And I always thought it was really cool because it was like this super secret switch that um, if you walked into the room to turn on the lamp, you couldn't see the switch at all the way the lamp was facing. You could only see it if you were laying in bed. So I always liked that about this lamp. <laughs> ourselves a lamp. Boom. Is that it? Well, we got to do a plug for this. I thought that I had the uh, original plug that came with the lamp that was on here. I'll either have to look for it or I'll have to go out and buy another one. Okay, so change the plan. I found this old cord that I took off of an old toaster or whatever. And I think I like this idea better anyway because it's got a, you know, plug, molded plug on it. I don't really like those ones that you have to wire up, they never last. It's ugly. <laughs> It'll work though. And I can prove it. Problem with the switch there. Ta da! I always thought the uh, old lampshade was a little boring. So I picked up some things to spruce it up a little bit. So for the top part, got this. I'll just go around there like so. 
And then for the bottom, I've got these little ball balls. These will go like this around the bottom. Oh, well, you get the idea anyway. Market lights aren't gonna cut it. I got smart bulbs that have already been opened. Probably an old lady probably uh, returned them. Didn't realize they were smart bulbs when she bought them. I'll bet that's it. But I guess we'll find out. Ta-da! Beautiful. Damn. Fireworks in the middle of the day. Tell me you got money without telling me you got money. Oh, I just don't want to get glue on my balls. So fuzzy, they'll just soak that glue right up. Got to admit, I'm more than a little disappointed that this whole thing is glued. Thought it would be a fun sewing project, not a gluing project. <laughs> All together. Yeah, nice. What a great lamp. Turn out the lights so we can see how it looks on its own. Oh, look at that. Will you look at that? It's, 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 it's indescribably beautiful. It reminds me of the 4th of July. I mean, it's no scantily clad leg or anything like that, but I dig it. Come on, let's see how it looks in the house. Hey, turn off the lights. So when all was said and done, I couldn't abide that that plain black cord. So I got this fancy braided cord. So I'm gonna swap that out real quick. Yeah, so much better than those garish overhead lights. Came out a lot better than I had hoped for. All right, get back in here so we can wrap this up. All right, I got books to read, you got other videos to watch, but thanks for taking the time to watch this one. <laughs>